Goldsboro police are conducting another death investigation. This is the fourth person found dead since Friday. This map shows where each person was found. Detectives are trying to determine if the deaths are related to fentanyl overdoses. Tonight, WRAL's Julian Grace talked to one of the grieving family members. There are a lot of unknowns about these deaths, and investigators with the Goldsboro Police Department say they're trying to determine if some of the drugs collected from some of the scenes were laced. It was on Friday that Kayleen Fisher typed this Facebook post asking the public's help in finding her younger sister, Chanel Alves. And so when I knew I couldn't get her on the phone and she wasn't picking up for me, I was like, something's not right. Then on Sunday, family received word that Alves' body was found in this wooded area in Goldsboro. I kind of just going through all the grieving things. Uh, I've been crying on and off, uh, but like I'm kind of just like angry about this whole thing. Family members are waiting on an autopsy result to determine the 34 year old's death. But Fisher says her sister battled addiction. Al's death is part of four deaths in four days in Goldsboro. Richard Lane on Friday, Billy Saunders on Saturday, Alves on Sunday, and now Ebony Jackson on Monday. Investigators are trying to determine if the deaths are all drug related. While police investigate, just moments after announcing the fourth death, the police chief released this statement. It reads in part, there is no danger to the overall citizens of Goldsboro. There are similarities between the four deaths, and that is the reason I felt the need to put out this PSA. It's unknown at this time if any drugs collected at the scene of each location, if any, is laced. That is part of the ongoing investigation and is too soon to say. As for family members, they're now left with images of the mother of six, who they say love to brighten everyone's day. The family has started to go fund me, and they do this all while pushing for resources for people facing addictions. A lot of people struggle with addiction. You know, if her passing away can raise awareness to that, you know, I think that, I think that would be a good thing. Reporting in Goldsboro, Julian Grace, WRL News.